Okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you the basic how to configure the stock URL on the market page. And the last video, I'm already to show you about the stock URL on the Cisco router. But in this video, I'm show you again how to configure the stock URL. But we add to the configure on the market page. Again, then we go to the GNS3 and uh, we to show you how to configure. Okay, this is, uh, this is a lab that we have to the configure the start URL. Okay, for this lab, I have the one uh, AQ router and this one for the RAM router. Okay, this is for the cloud, for the internet. Okay. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to show you step by step about the how to configure the start URL from the AQ to the VAN and from the VAN to the AQ. Okay. Okay, for the step one, I'm going to show you how to set the how to set the name of the uh, the interface and assign IP to the interface on the router AQ. Okay, set. Name and assign a key on my page. If you and brand, okay. The first step we have to the set the IP and assign the interface name for the my router issue and the brand again then I'm going to the window HP client born at the XQ brand sorry at the XQ okay this is the window HP client born that I'm connect to the XQ and then I'm going to the wind box and configure the interface name and IP address for the the router okay and connect to the wind box okay the first I'm um, reset all the configuration that I'm uh, configured before Okay, so you can wait in because um, reset all the configuration and we configure again. Okay, and then I'm go to the bin box again for the connect to the magnetic router. Okay, log in by the email address. Okay, and then okay, okay, and then we go to the interface for the set interface name. Okay, for the interface name, I'm um, set for the LAN. Okay, for this name too, I'm um, set for the WAN. Okay, and then I'm um, go to the IP for the assign IP to LAN and WAN. Okay, and then I'm um, remove the default IP and add the new IP for the LAN. Okay. Okay, this is the IP for the LAN. Okay, by the follow the diagram. Okay, and add one more IP for the fan. Okay. Okay, you can select the fan in the first. Okay, for the XQ router, we set the interface name and the assign IP to the interface already. Okay, and then we go to the magnetic at the brand. Okay, and then configure the same and set the interface name the same. Okay, I'm going to the window client SP2. Okay, this one. 
Okay, this one for the window client HP2 at the brand. Okay, and then I'm going to the check the IP. Okay, I'm set the IP for the manual IP. Okay, for this RAM. Okay, for this RAM. Okay. Okay, you can, okay. Okay, and then we log in to the Winbox. Connect to the multi router. Okay. Okay, and then I'm go to the reset the configuration. Okay, going to do the wind mode again. Okay, and then we go to the interface and set the interface name. Okay, this one for the LAN. Okay, and this one for the brand. Okay, and then we go to the IP for the sign IP. Okay, you can check follow the diagram. For the LED. Okay, add one more for the brand in the place. Okay, and check again. Okay. Okay. We add already for the interface name and assign a key to the interface. Okay, and then we go to the step two. Okay, step two. Configure start data. Start by okay, from a Q to the brand. Okay. From the EQ to the brand for the start it up. Okay, before I um, go to the uh, configure the start it up, I'm trying to ping from the EQ to the brand and from the brand to the EQ it's uh, working or not okay and then I'm go to the Windows P client go on okay I'm um, keying to the Windows HP client 2 and the brand is working or not before I'm going to the configure this okay I'm keying to the PC okay going to the keying to the IP at the brand computer like Windows P2 okay I think not yet They're working because we not yet to configure the start run well, the connection is normal okay yes destination not eligible okay Same. Request thermal. Okay, and then we go to the configure start file. I'm go to the EQ router for the configure the start file. Okay, and then we go 
to the IP okay and then we go to the route mm -hmm. you can click on the route and click add okay and this one you route to the IP network at the brand okay for the brand this one okay and then for the gateway you can check for the diagram okay when you route from the XQ to the brand into the this network okay for this network okay this is for the gateway that you for the gateway or the home address okay Okay, and then you can uh, route from uh, we we stay at the AQ router we route to the destination network from the brand and uh, go to the the home address or gateway from the ISP. Okay. Okay. Two. Okay. Okay. Supply. Okay, and then we go to the computer at the brand. We route to the network at the IQ router the same. Okay. So that's 24. 24 and gateway. Okay, this is the gateway that you route. Okay, and then you can click apply. Okay, okay. After you run or start it out already, you can testing the pin. Okay, I'm testing the pin again. Okay, I'm check the IP. Okay, I'm change the default gateway. Okay, to the one. Okay, you can check the pin again. Okay, after uh, after you change the gateway, you you see the connection is reply from the okay and then I'm ping to the uh, IP at the brand okay it's working okay and I'm going to the PC at the brand and ping to XQ again okay it's working for the connection from the XQ to the brand and brand to the XQ is working right now when we configure the starter route is working okay Okay, and in this video, I'm um, finished. We call, uh, we configure the starter out is uh, finished. Okay, and then for the next video, I'm going to show you how to configure uh, Rift and OSPA and uh, uh, dynamic route in the MicroTech and between the router and the uh, uh, MicroTech also. And going to show you how to configure the VPN from the uh, magnetic to magnetic or uh, uh, router to the magnetic okay I'll try to show you the new the video and then uh, I hope so you after you watching my video you can like comment and share especially subscribe on my channel Cisco Drangle or Cisco Command Learning Okay, thank you for watching my video.